So if you have forgotten your iPhone passcode and your face ID is not working and your touch ID is not working, is there another way you can use to have access and uh, unlock your phone? That is what this video is meant for. Now in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a quick step-by-step -step process on how to unlock an iphone without the passcode without an apple id without a face id and without a touch id now this is very simple and it's not complicated all you have to do is just to follow the tutorial step by step and at the end you'll be able to have access to your phone again all right so with that being said let's get started guys now you today is actually your first time here on the channel guys i would like you to subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification and then give the video a like button and don't forget to drop down a comment in the comment section let me know your feedback about this tutorial all right so with that being said let's get started in the video guys Alright guys, so this is actually the phone here. As you can see here, the phone is locked and when I enter a wrong uh, passcode, a random wrong passcode, I'll get this uh, error message, iPhone unavailable, try again in one minute. Now if yours is stuck at this screen, try again in one minute or probably five minutes, 15 minutes or one hour. Now it's still the same process that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video that you can follow to get your iphone working again and unlocked all right so the first thing you need here now you need your iphone charging cable just like the one that i, I have here your iphone charging cable you are using to charge your iphone and then you need to install itunes on your pc itunes is a free software it's available for both mac os and windows os for windows os i've already made a video on how to install itunes whether i'm running windows 10 or windows 11 and i'm going to be leaving a link to that video in the description box below so once you click on that link it will take you to the previous video which i've made on how to set up itunes on your pc all right so the first thing you want to do here now is to launch the itunes on your pc so just open up the itunes and then i'll go ahead and then connect my iphone charging cable to my pc so i'll connect it and then i'll connect it to the iphone So once you connect it now what you have to do here now is to we're going to enter the recovery mode or the dfu mode of this iphone 11 pro max right so all we have to do is to click on the quickly click on the volume up button the volume down button and then you press and hold on the power button you keep holding on the power button until you see a screen that will come out asking you to connect to itunes all right so let's do that together so i'm going to quickly click on the volume up button volume down button and then i'll press and hold on the power button so just keep holding it and make sure i have open itunes on your pc so just keep holding the power button Alright guys, so we are going to get a screen like this, connect to iTunes, alright, so here, I'm going to keep this, and then on the screen of your laptop, we are going to get a message, there is a problem with the iPhone, iPhone that requires to be updated or restored, now what you have to do here, just to click on cancel, so just select on cancel, and then you hold the shift key, and then the restore iPhone, hold the shift key, and then you click on restore iphone now this is going to open your file explorer so from here we need to import the iphone 11 pro max firmware which i've already downloaded on my pc let's for instance you are trying to unlock your iphone xr now you need to download the firmware for you to be able to get the phone unlocked now for the 11 pro max that i have here i already downloaded the firmware as you can see it's under, it's under my download folder here right so you need to download the firmware for whichever phone they are trying to unlock now if you don't know how to download this firmware i've already made a complete video on how to download any iphone firmware i'm also going to be leaving the link to that video in the description of this video below so once you click on that link to take you to that video so you know how to download firmware for whichever phone they are trying to unlock all right so once you are there all you have to do here is just to select the firmware all right so select the firmware and then you click on restore as you can see, 
so it's currently extracting the, the firmware so let's wait until the extraction is done Alright guys, so as you can see, the iTunes is currently preparing the iPhone for restore. Alright guys, so as you can see here, the iTunes is currently restoring back the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now this is actually going to take a couple of minutes before it's complete. We just have to be patient until when the process is finally done. Alright guys, so when it's done, you are going to get a message like this. All right, so we have completely restored this iPhone. So let's go and set it up now. All right, All right, guys. As you can see here, we are done restoring back this iPhone. On the screen, you can see your iPhone has been unlocked. All right, so here is the phone. So we just have to set up this phone right now. All right, guys, so here, as you can see here, we have successfully unlocked this iPhone. The iPhone is not locked again. As you can see, everything is working fine. The iPhone is not locked again. All right, so that is a simple step-by-step -step process on how to get your iPhone unlocked, your forgotten iPhone passcode unlocked. So if you have forgotten your passcode, if your face id is not working or your touch id is not working right so you can use this method to restore back your iphone so that's it so like i said what you have to do here just to or get the firmware downloaded on your pc now if you don't know how to download the firmware, i've already made a video on how to download the firmware on your pc right so i've already put up a tutorial on how to install itunes on your computer right so if you don't know how to do all those things i'm going to be leaving a link to those video in the description of this video right so once you click on the link to take you to the, those previous video i've made on how to get those things done right so that is it for this video if you find the video interesting guys i would like you to give the video a thumbs up drop that comment in the comment section and subscribe to the channel you today is actually your first time of coming across our youtube channel and if you have any question as regards to this demonstration you can also drop that a question in the comment section all right so with that being said see you guys in the very next one bye for now